Hello, hello dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Polina and here on my channel I talk about fragrances. In today's video I'm going to talk about my new perfume rotation. The perfumes that I'm going to use this winter because the weather has changed. It is already very cold here in Germany where I live. So the mood is changing so it's the time to rotate my perfumes. I'm going to start with a very rare and already legendary fragrance from the house Coty, traditional French house, Le Mans. Magnet. I think in French it means magnet. This perfume was created originally in 1927. Just imagine this. And it's still available on the market. Of course, this is a new version of Le Mans and this is Eau de Toilette. The notes that are listed here are aldehydes, rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, neroli. And this fragrance is a very affordable version that re resembles the most popular fragrance in the world, Chanel number no. 5. I won't say that this is a dupe because um, as far as I know, this fragrance was created even earlier than Chanel number no. 5. But this kind of fragrances, aldehyde, elang elang, rose, jasmine variations, they were very popular in the beginning of the 20th century. This was the taste of the fragrances back in the day. But just imagine, almost 100 years it is available on the market. I have a huge respect over fragrances like this. And probably I'm going to make a video dedicated to the history of La Mar by Coty. So let's con concentrate on the smell of this amazing fragrance. As I said, except of the nuances, the direction of Lamont and number no. 5 by Chanel are quite similar. Aldehydes, rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, neroli. If you like fragrances with predominant aldehyde note, this is going to be a discovery for you because this is a very affordable version. This is a very affordable fragrance. Unfortunately, I can't compare this fragrance with Chanel number no. 5 because I don't own um, Chanel number no. 5 in my collection. I'm not a huge, I'm not the biggest fan of um, Chanel number no. 5. I have two other versions of number no. 5, but the versions I have, they are quite different from the original number no. 5. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about this fragrance in my next videos but for my nose this is a typical retro aldehyde fragrance but I like fragrances like this I don't have any bad associations with fragrances with a predominant aldehyde note so the next fragrance that I would like to talk about is also a fragrance with a history. Calypso by the French niche traditional house Robert Piguet. Calypso is um, ancient Greek goddess from the Greek, ancient Greek myths. And according to the ancient Greek myths and legends, Calypso ancient Greek goddess was capturing Odysseus on her island for eight years. So, and originally this fragrance Calypso was created in 1949 and it has been reformulated for many times. This version is from 2010 and the nose behind of this version is Aurélien Guichard, one of my favorite French um, noses. This is a variation about rose, iris, suede and patchouli. Such a mystical, 
elegant and exquisite scent. Absolutely astonishing. I have never smelled anything like this before. It smells like a, like a retro lipstick. It is a classical lipsticky scent with a predominant suede and patchouli note. Of course, this is a fragrance dedicated to rose, but this is a, not a typical rosy scent. I'm completely with lo in love with Calypso. This is, this is my must-have during the winter. It makes me so comfortable and cozy. I like fragrances that go in a cosmetic, powdery, lipsticky direction. But I distinguish between powdery and lipsticky scent, scents. And this one is a lipsticky scent for me, like a retro lipstick. Try it on because this is, an, this is a unique one. Another fragrance that I recently talked about Fragrance with history as well, Irisim by the French designer traditional house Jacques Fat. And this new version that was created in 2009 is a tribute, is a homage to the fragrance by this house that was created in 1947, Iris Gris, fragrance that doesn't exist any longer. And the renewed house of Jacques Fat wanted to create a tribute, homage to the um, classy Iris Gris that was loved by many, many people. This is a fragrance dedicated to Iris, Rose, Jasmine. I'm completely in love with this one. It is a powdery um, scent with a predominant iris note. So elegant, so feminine, so cozy and comfortable, but delicate and subdued. It's not straight into your nose powder, delicate and it's like a, it's like a warming cashmere um, sweater that makes you comfortable and warm during the cold winter days. My absolutely favorite fragrance during the winter and my, dis recent, uh, my recent discovery. Another fragrance with tradition as well, just a moment, with tradition and history is the um, La Panthère in the version of Parfum by the House of Cartier. Um, in the 80s there was another Panther um, in the whole line of La Panthère from the 2010 is homage and tribute to the fragrance that was created in the 80s and doesn't exist any longer. So this fragrance is dedicated to Gardenia, Osmanthus apricot, suede, patchouli and oak moss. Predominant oak moss note, apricot, osmanthus and gardenia. Expensive, luxury, I think office appropriate fragrance, fragrance that gives you strength and self-confidence. I like wearing La Panthère in this version in the office. The longevity is very nice, although I expected a little bit more from the version of Parfum. Another fragrance, also with history, is Intuition by Estee Lauder. Originally it was created in 2000 by Alberto Morillas. I prefer wearing this fragrance in December before Christmas and New Year. So this is a fragrance that transfers this awaiting of Christmas um, and New Year because of the predominant citrusy notes and woody notes. I love, I love wearing this fragrance in winter. It lifts up my mood because the days are often grey 
and cold and wearing this fragrance it's like a antidepressant it's a it's a uplifting fragrance the longevity is also very nice so uh, this is going to be my savior against the winter depression okay the next fragrance that i would like to talk about is perleret by the french niche house volney this is also a very interesting and quite rare fragrance. Fragrance dedicated to jasmine, rose, iris, vanilla, powdery notes. The start, the opening of this fragrance resembles some chocolate, chocolate um, pralines with some liquor something some alcohol is there but then in the dry down this fragrance becomes a very elegant powdery lipsy cosmetic scent and as I said I prefer these fragrances in winter because they are cozy they're comforting they're warming they are like cashmere sweater the longevity is amazing and this fragrance is going it is a cocooning one it's going to it's going to cover you in a nice warming cocoon and you're going to be noticed in this one although it is an elegant and delicate fragrance and the last fragrance that I would like to talk about and I'm going to wear during the winter is Rose Rouge by Van Cleef and Appels. This is not a typical rose. This is a rose combined with green notes, with vetiver, raspberry, blackcurrant, pink pepper, chocolate and patchouli very interesting twist it is a subdued very elegant and delicate fragrance it is office appropriate i like wearing rose rouge during uh, the day but also it is appropriate for an evening scent i like wearing it at the office because it's not going to suffocate anybody it is very delicate and elegant and also feminine the longevity is quite nice although the fragrances from this house are not very long lasting but this one lasts quite long on my skin and it is it has this very special green twist to the to the predominant rose and the chocolatey note makes this fragrance also quite soft and alluring so these were the fragrances that I'm going to wear during the winter and if you try them on please share with me your opinion and I thank you for your attention and see you soon next video bye bye